Bridge, I'm Professor Revelation and we're here for our last episode. This term I've given you the skills that you need to get around God's Word. We know the Old Testament, the New Testament, we know how to find different chapters and verses, and we know that the whole story of the Bible is about salvation. But what I want is not for you guys to be experts in the Bible, to be the world's best Bible flickers. What I would love is for you to read God's Word over the holidays. Each day, I want you to open your Bibles, read it, and enjoy it. Today I'm going to answer four different questions. The first question is, what should I read? You can start reading anywhere in the Bible, but we've learned over the last few weeks that the best place for you to start reading is one of the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke or John, and they're right here at the beginning of the New Testament. This is where the main event of the Bible happens. It's where you get to meet Jesus Christ face to face. So, pick one of these to read over the next six weeks. The second question is, where should I go to read the Bible? You can read it anywhere, but the best place for you to read it is somewhere quiet. This could be in your room or in your backyard or in a park. Somewhere where people, the TV, your mobile phone, the computer, all those things, they can't distract you. Make it your spot. Go there every day. Read the Word of God and listen to Him. The third question is, what should I do when I read the Bible? There's lots of different things that you can do. Some of you guys use the Bible helps from the back table and they tell you what to read and what to think about. But if you just want to read the Bible by yourself, buy a diary and a pen and use the SOAP method. Open it up and divide your page into quarters. In the top left hand corner, write S. S stands for scripture. Then you want to choose a part of the Bible that you can handle. One story, about 10 to 20 verses. It's important that you read the Bible in order though, because it's like one big story. So, once you've chosen your gospel that you're going to read, let's say we chose Mark, you'd start at the beginning with Mark chapter 1. And the first story is about John the Baptist and it goes to verse 8. So here in the scripture box, I'd write Mark chapter 1. Verses 1, 8. Then go right across your page and write O. O is for observations. Here you write down anything that you observe when you read the passage. So tell us what's happening in the story. Then you come down here into the bottom left hand corner and you write A. A is for application. Application is where you write down one thing that you've learnt and you want to change in your life that day. Then you go right to P. P is for prayer. Here, write down what you want to pray about. This whole thing will take about 10 to 15 minutes if you take time to ponder what's in the Bible. Then, take a few minutes to talk to your God. The fourth question is, why should I read the Bible? Well, we've heard about this all term. We should read the Bible because it shows us God, His Son Jesus, our Saviour. And it helps us live a good and wise life. And it's rich in treasure. Enjoy at this holiday club, Reg. I'm Professor Revelation. See you later.